There seems to be a lot of that going around right now. No, you shut the up. VH1's Basketball Wives is getting a little too slap happy with cast members insulting. You will forever be a bum. And you'll forever be a hoe. Threatening. I'm gonna kill that mother. And worst of all, smacking each other with wild abandon. <laughs> Basketball Wives violence is definitely taking its toll. Frequent abuse victim Mika Claxton eventually left the show. Is she coming at me for no reason? And this slap actually led to a misdemeanor battery charge against the slapper Nia Crooks. Unfortunately, it's gutter TV. Reality Weekly's Omarosa Manigault knows something about reality show conflict. She famously mixed it up on The Apprentice. Darling, you any sweetie pie, you have don't said call me so many pie. things. But Omarosa tells Showbiz Tonight what she's seeing on Basketball Wives is just nuts. I have never once taken part of any situation that escalated to the level of violence. I don't believe that adults should resolve conflict by getting physical. Showbiz Tonight can tell you, like some of the short-tempered ladies on Basketball Wives, some of the show's famous fans have had enough. Sherry Shepard and Star Jones have both criticized the show. And longtime fan Wendy Williams announced in February she was done. I can't take the fighting. I think it's embarrassing. A Change.org petition protesting Basketball Wives has gotten almost 30,000 signatures. And today, the makers of Summer's Eve Feminine Products confirmed to Showbiz Tonight they've pulled their ads from Basketball Wives. Viewers are saying, you know, we like drama, but we don't like violence. Of course, Basketball Wives isn't the first show featuring woman-on-woman -woman violence. Slap me, bitch! Ever since Pumpkin in New York mixed it up on Flavor of Love, ladies have been going at it on reality shows. The Jersey Shore ladies have had far more fights than the guys have. And the Real Housewives franchise has had its share of scraps from Beverly Hills to Atlanta. But the Basketball Wives violence is drawing particular attention because of its mostly African-American cast. It is a predominant cast made up of African-American women who are affluent, who are educated, who are wealthy, and yet they're behaving like hood rats. It is unacceptable. Now we're seeing basketball wives you need to chill. may actually start chilling out a bit on the violence. Shawnee O'Neal, the ex-wife of Shaquille O'Neal and the executive producer of Basketball Wives, has announced a no violence policy for the show's next season. We hear it. We, we know what's going on. And on the end of season reunion show, she promised a kinder and gentler Basketball Wives. We are going to do our best, you know, moving forward to show you some better content, some more positive, intelligent women that, you know, we got our act together. But Omarosa tells Showbiz Tonight she's skeptical. To hear this producer, this creator to now say, you know, we can do better when she sat there as a bystander witnessing this and not stepping in, it's just not enough. And I'm not certain that the viewers will trust her. Saying that. But with violence continuing on the show in its fourth season, we'll see if all the anti violence backlash. What do you need to be smacking your face to wake up? Really has helped the basketball wives wake up and face the error of their ways.